There have been so many choices, so many crossroads, so many decisions that I've made in my life. And you know what? Occasionally, a girl who has her hand on the handle to the door to her new world can feel, well, a little bit overwhelmed. And when that happens, it's just time to buckle up. Welcome to episode four of Shell Talks podcast. Who says you can't take a leap of faith and just jump? I am Shell, your host. As we speed along this journey in our game of life, I can't help but to, well, whine a little bit. Are we there yet? This has been a long 18 year journey and I just kind of want to get there already. <laughs> well, you know, when you're feeling like that, the only thing, the best thing that you can do is just get away from it all. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. Oh, you can hear the Amtrak train. I'm here in Ventura Beach, uh, near Los Angeles, California. And you know, there's nothing selfish about taking a day to yourself when you feel overwhelmed. <clears throat> you just have to do something to let your mind unwind. And it is so not selfish. It's absolutely necessary and essential for you to take that time for yourself. So I'm out here. I'm enjoying the surf. It's a little breezy day. Got my feet in the sand. I'm fishing on the pier back there, you know, and just relaxing. I'm unplugging from all kinds from social media. The only thing I'm doing today is this podcast, but other than that, I'm not answering phone calls, texts. I'm not looking at social media posts. I'm just taking a day to unwind my mind. Because if you really think about it, you put so much information into your mind every single day. And I need to ask you a question. What do you do with all that information that you take in during the day? We can get so caught up in society's daily drama, be it the news or social media trends or, you know, even Facebook posts from your circles of friends that you look at and listen to or you know and this doesn't even take into account your personal interactions on your day-to-day -day basis with your co-workers and your family and all the other things that you put into your you allow into your ears and your mind every single day it's a lot of interactions and it's a lot of information so let me ask you a question what do you do with all this information that you take in from the minute you wake up until the minute you go to bed? Because that's a lot of information. Is your life in balance like 50-50? And you can know this by asking yourself a simple question. Are you stressed? Or do you just go with the flow? Because if you're if you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, it means only one thing is that you have not spent enough time with yourself. If you're feeling stressed, it's because you haven't spent enough time quiet with yourself, quieting, being quiet and replenishing your energy. It's so important that you replenish this energy, otherwise um, you, you just end up getting overwhelmed you just can't think straight. Just know how important it is to take that time for yourself. It is not selfish in the least. It is absolutely necessary. You want to know how you're getting closer to being your true authentic self? Well, you know this by when you start thinking and daydreaming and feeling the feelings that you feel when you're dreaming about the things that you want to accomplish the things the way you want your life and you tend to forget where you are because you're so much into the deep into the dream and into the feeling of the daydream that's when you know that you're getting closer and closer to 
your dreams manifesting into reality. The most important thing to remember that is if you're feeling a little shaky on your feet, know that you're getting close to your manifestations happening. You just need to buckle down, take a little time for yourself, go to the beach, get out in nature, do whatever it is that makes you feel really good and continue to daydream. So I work from home. I'm a writer. I'm not sure that you all know that I'm a writer, but I wrote a book called Reinventing Your Badass Self. And it's all about um, rewriting the script of your life to become connected again, reconnected again with your true authentic self. And I'm also a professional artist. I'm a painter. And I also wrote a course to go along with my book. It's a 90-day badass boot camp that will help you to manifest the life of your dreams. And so, you want to know what my daydream is? It started out pretty small. Since I'm a painter, I decided that I'd really like to have my own art studio. I had my own painting party business until COVID hit, where I was doing paint nights with, you know, 10 or 20, 30 people. And um, I just so enjoyed that. And so I thought, well, I'd like to have an art studio. And then as I kept daydreaming more and more, and I wrote my book, and I designed my course, and I'm getting ready to create an automated webinar so that I can um, launch my webinar on social media to sell my course. Well, as I decided I loved writing, I decided I wanted to write a second book. But where do I want to write that second book? I want to write that second book in Italy. I have always wanted to go to Italy. I've always wanted to be a gypsy adventurer. And so I thought, you know, who says you can't? <laughs> so I've decided that I'm going to go to Italy for four to six months and write my next book and travel and have adventures. And I got thinking about that even more as my daydream just kept getting more involved and more detailed that, you know, I might really like it there and I might want to move there. And so I decided to look at houses in Italy. And I looked on YouTube and I found some videos on these absolutely fabulous houses that you can buy in Italy that are so much less expensive than they are, than they, they are here in the States. And so I saw this one property. It was so gorgeous. It was a three bedroom, two bath house, huge kitchen. It was on about an acre of land. It was not far from Rome and it was 45 minutes from the Adriatic Sea and 45 minutes from um, ski resorts. So you're centrally located and you have beautiful views. This property faces the mountains and you can see the sea from there. And on this particular property, they had um, olive trees, 14 olive trees. And they had um, a beautiful in the ground pool in the backyard. And it was, it was so gorgeous. And I was so inspired that it really got me thinking. And I thought, you know, what if I bought this house and I decided to kind of turn it into a, a B and B and make an art studio on the property and put five little tiny homes in between the olive trees and rent them out as, as all inclusive B and B's with everything included, including Ital Italian family style meals because I want to to design an outside kitchen to go by the pool with a pizza oven and you know grills and all so that um, it would be a participation in, an invitation to participate with the B and B guests but we could have our uh, meals together and then you know they can go off and do their exploring and they're centrally located and I just imagine having my own studio there and living there and just living the life that I've always dreamed of in a beautiful place. And so I'm encouraged.
encouraging you to think big, you know? Who's stopping you and who says you can't? All it takes is keeping your dreams in the forefront of your mind at all times instead of in the background of your mind and the laws of attractions of the universe will do the rest for you. And so that's what really excites me and I am encouraging you very much to take time out for yourself every single day and to really watch how you spend your free time. Because if you really want to accomplish anything in your life, you know, you have to, you have to be able to clear your mind and get focused. And the only way you can do that is by taking time quietly, meditating and meditating can just include taking a walk, sitting on the beach, listening to the waves, just enjoy yourself. So the message for this week's podcast is this. You know, when you have your handle, your hand on the handle of the door, ready to just open it up and take the leap and start your new life and you just feel a little shaky, don't beat yourself up. Give yourself permission to just take your hand off the handle for a moment, steady your feet, and take a breath. Don't beat yourself up if you're a little nervous. Don't be upset with yourself. Just take the time that you need to make the adjustments and to get balanced because you truly need to be balanced in order to make the next make the next move in your life. So just take that time, take a little time out, do whatever it is that relaxes you. And when you're feeling steady on your feet again, then all you need to do is put your hand right back on that handle, turn that handle, open that door, and just take the leap of faith and jump. <laughs> That's right. It's okay to jump, but give yourself permission to take as much time as you need because you know what? You're still in charge of your own destiny. It is your own life. You make your own decisions and you can do it anytime you like. But just remember, you must take time out during the day and you must remember and, and keep track of how much time, how much free time that you do have during the day and how much that free time you're spending on you on daydreaming your best life, because I assure you, you're closer than you think. If you never need daydream and you never have any goals or aspirations, then you're never gonna reach them. So <laughs> daydream, think big, and be big, my friends. So that's my podcast for this week, and I'm excited to share more of our journey together as we journey together to always be our true authentic selves so that we can be, have, or do anything we want. That's my message for this week. So shell out. Love and light, my friends. Talk to you next Monday. Bye.